Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a review of the new NARS Afterglow Lip Gloss. So, if you would like to hear my thoughts and feelings, swatches and which ones I picked up, keep on watching. Okay beauties, so I am the first to admit that I actually don't own any NARS lip glosses. I do have their Afterglow lip balms and I am a huge fan of them. I absolutely love their little tint things that they came out with a couple years ago and I actually still do have some and they are really good so if you definitely haven't tried the afterglow lip balm i would definitely recommend that you get them because they're more of a tin and they are moisturizing like crazy like you could literally put them on and then just walk out if you wanted to the so beauties nars has actually dropped their new afterglow lip shine lip gloss and this comes in 5.5 ml you can purchase this on the selfridges website because that is where i purchased mine and they retail for 24 pounds so nars did actually come out with 10 colors you have a lister you have arrogant you have chelsea girls you have lover to lover nympho orgasm super vixen turkish delight triple x unbroken and let's see because you know fenty is up there with my lip glosses that i absolutely love so uh, let's see if this is up there so this is the nars afterglow lip shine is a hydrating lip gloss that nourishes the lips while delivering a wet looking high shine finish to the lips i am definitely new to nars's lip glosses do let me know if you guys would recommend nars's lip glosses and do you like them so these are the packagings this is how it comes i did simply pick up two because when you just don't know <laughs> you try to be careful so this shade I picked up is in the shade Turkish Delight. So this is the packaging. This is how it comes. Definitely do like the packaging, giving me a bit of Tom Ford vibes. Definitely a fan of Tom Ford lip glosses as well. If you've never tried them, you've got to try them, but where are they pricey? So let's see. That is how the applicator is looking. This is good. I do prefer flat looking applicators because that way I can control the product and get right where I need to get in. These ones don't have a smell either. The longevity of these lip glosses also are 24 months. So I'm gonna get this straight on and see how it looks. I'm gonna give you guys a swatch also so you can see how it looks. So this shade is actually a nice shade. I definitely wouldn't wear it like this. I definitely would put a lipstick on first and then I would top it with a lip gloss. This is definitely gonna be a really nice lip gloss topper if that is something what you're looking to do with this we will get the next shade on so the next shade i picked up this is in the shade lover to lover so it does still have the same nars packaging as well so as you can see this is definitely more of a deeper pink it also does have gold shimmers in it from what i can see on the box And that is how the applicator is looking. And then we'll just do a quick swatch. So that is the second shade just there. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna take this one off and then I'll put the next one on. So my final thoughts on the two NARS lip glosses. 
Would I say that these lip glosses are one of my favorites? Mm, no, just not for me. At least with the second one, because it does have shimmer in it, you can't feel it. Do you remember back in the day when they would make shimmery lip glosses like this and you could actually feel the glitter pieces? Oh, if you guys know, you know. So thank God they don't do those anymore. But this is nice. It definitely does have a really nice feel and texture, but it's just not as glossy to me as I would want it to be. This is definitely for somebody that is into lip glosses and doesn't like that really sticky. I mean, I personally don't like sticky lip glosses either, but there needs to be a level of a gloss to it so I know what it is. To me, these are kind of looking like shimmers or something along those lines. I wouldn't really say these are lip glosses, but they're definitely more of a subtle lip gloss. I wouldn't really say that they are in your face. So if you're definitely looking to try out lip glosses, and you don't really like that out there look, I would definitely say try the NARS ones because they are lip glosses, but they're just more of a subtle lip gloss. I just personally can't see these lip glosses lasting long. I just can't see it. I mean, then again, a lip gloss isn't supposed to last long, but I just feel like with these kind of lip glosses, I'm definitely gonna have to be like retouching, retouching and retouching. I do have certain lip glosses, as you guys know, I like. Fenty, I like the Tom Ford one. I have actually recently purchased some Chanel lip glosses that I have, but I haven't used them yet. So I definitely do need to give those a go. Charlotte Tilbury does nice lip glosses. I just think the NARS ones, uh, maybe these ones just aren't for me, but I definitely will wear them. I just don't think in the future I would be repurchasing NARS lip glosses. So beauties, those are my final thoughts on the new NARS Afterglow lip gloss. Do let me know, have you guys actually purchased NARS lip glosses before? And what are your thoughts and feelings? I am actually fully aware that NARS are actually gonna be releasing a body oil in orgasm shade. Definitely gonna be getting my hands on that because that just looks oh, perfect for the summer. I'm literally waiting for that to drop. And as soon as it does drop, I am definitely going to be getting my hands on it. Also, I have ordered the new Pat McGrath stuff. I am just waiting for it to arrive. I'm hoping it arrives soon because I really want to get my hands and start trying out her new stuff. I am also waiting for the new Patrick Tar to drop on Cult Beauty because it hasn't dropped yet. So beauties, there are a lot of new makeup releases coming out. A lot of things are just dropping out of the blue. So I'm a bit like, what is happening right now? So I am going to try my best and obviously get my hands on as much products as I can. If you are new to the channel, I would absolutely love it. If you did like, comment and subscribe and become part of my family and I will definitely be seeing you guys again soon. Do make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.